Good morning, class family. It's a fantastic Friday. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Let's start with the date. March 31st, 2023. Dear class family, today is Friday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we'll review the word wall and tap words. Next, we will share our thinking about a poem. Then we will read poems aloud and in different ways. Last, we will look at the Lexia data and do literacy centers. There is no school next week because of spring break. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. You do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Let's start with this month. It's the last day in this month. Do you remember what it's called? There's a capital M-A-R-C-H. What does that say? You're right, it does say March. If you remember that, go ahead and pat yourself on the back and let's reread the whole date. March 31st, 2023. After the date, let's reread our greeting, beginning with the word dear. Dear class family. After the greeting, I see a punctuation mark. It starts on the line and does a little curve. What's that called, kindergartners? You're right, it is is a comma. Let's go ahead and review the punctuation marks that we're going to be seeing in the message. Comma, period, exclamation point, also called a exclamation mark. And for the question of the day, we're going to have a question mark. In person, let's circle those punctuation marks and capital letters. As we are rereading, search for those with your eyes. All right, after the greeting, let's look at the first telling sentence, beginning with a capital T like T top. T. Good writers capitalize the first letter in each sentence. I also noticed how there's a bigger space here. Good writers indent or leave a bigger space to jumpstart their paragraphs. Let's go ahead and reread. Today is Friday. It is Friday. And it's a fantastic Friday. Let's look at the next sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. You know we do that every day. To be a great collaborator, communicator, and creative and critical thinker, we do this by listening, writing, and drawing, asking and answering questions, making connections, sharing, and our thinking. Speak loudly and clearly for all to hear you. Remember, good communicators use their mouth to speak and their ears to listen. All right, look at this transitional word here. It starts with a capital F. Do you remember? Well, let's review it. First, first, we will review the word wall and tap words. Okay, we're gonna use our word wall as a resource to review the ABCs, letters, sounds, and pictures to match that word. And we're gonna be using some YouTube channels. Shout out to Jack Hartman, Mr. B, and the Singing Walrus. All right, we're also going to be, um, oh, using the Learning Station too, and CBC Word Song. So many fantastic resources to help us move our bodies, sing and dance, and pump our brains with knowledge. Look at the next transitional word here that starts with a capital N, like N nut. Mm. Remember, good writers sequence their writing with first, next, then, and last. We already used first. What's this one? Do you remember? Next. Next, we will share our thinking about a poem. Okay, so remember, poetry can have a rhythm or beat. It can have rhyme, repetition. It can create a picture in your mind, and it tells a story as well as can incorporate the five senses. We're going to be looking at poetry today and sharing our thinking about it. We're going to visit some poems in A Family of Poems, My Favorite Poetry for Children by Caroline, Caroline Kennedy and Paintings by John J. Muth. All right, so we're gonna be sharing our thinking and be a great communicator. Then, oh, look at that transitional word, say it with me, then. Then we'll read poems aloud and in different ways. Oh, well, we'll, we will, we'll read them with expression in different ways. That's what we do with poetry. We see what kind of type of poem it is and we can change our expression, our tone of voice to have it fit with the poem. 
All right, look at this next transitional word. Say it with me. Last. Last, we'll look at the Lexia data and do literacy centers. Okay, we'll look at the Lexia data. I know many of you still have more units to pass to meet your goal for this week. And we're going to finish our All About Colors poem in addition to starting a March poem. All right, we're going to have to do a couple of important things today. It's going to be wonderful. There is no spring break next week or no school next week because of spring break. Okay, no school. Don't show up to school next week. Enjoy your time with your family and have a wonderful, safe spring break. And we'll meet back together after a week. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question of yes or no answers for today is do you like baskets with candy? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share why. Do you like baskets with candy?